Hi folks, Carol Ann here from SassyTownHouseLiving.com and today I'm super excited because I get to share with you this new outdoor solar battery powered camera. It's by a company called Solium and I didn't even open it yet. Okay, I didn't unbox it. I wanted to do that with you so we could see together what's inside. So let me take things out of the box and I'll show them to you. Okay, so heads up, if you hear Ollie barking in the background, I apologize, he barks at everything. Okay, so I have everything out here, and there are just a few products in here. Of course, we have our camera, and I just love the design of this. Of course, it's an all-plastic housing, and I'll go over all the important specs with you. I just wanna show you what it looks like first. And then you get your USB charger, of course. And then they even give you some mounting tools, screws and a little screwdriver even, which is super neat. I have several cameras in my, you know, home security cameras, and I've never gotten tools like that. So I think that's really a nice addition. And then of course, we have the magnificent solar panel. Now, I personally am attracted to this product because of the solar panel. I don't have a lot of access outside my home to plug these things in so that they work. And I really love the fact that it comes with a self-powering feature like this. Now, I just want to quickly show you the user manual. It's really nice because everything is nice and big and it's not this tiny paper manual that a lot of ca um, cameras come with. And it's even like laminated, so you can always keep it and refer to it down the road. Um, installation is supposed to be pretty easy. So I just wanted to make sure that I showed this to you because I appreciate every little nuance like this from companies. And I know that you do too. So I want to go over some of the features first. Of course, this is a wireless Wi-Fi pan tilt. So, whoops, sorry about that. So as you can see, this, the head of where all the mechanism for the camera is, it tilts and this also rotates around. Now, I don't have any cameras that do that currently, so I'm super excited about that. It, it uh, actually tilts 360 degrees and it has, um, of course, motion detec detection, color night vision, two-way talk, and of course you have your cloud features as well so you can store and safely retrieve all of your video right from the cloud. Now I have, like I said, several other cameras and of course I love to use their cloud features and they're typically, I didn't check um, their, this company's yet, but typically they're 10, 11 bucks a month, which is really affordable. So I wanna just continue with some of the core features. Now, this is a full 1080p HD and color night vision camera. Now. I've had some 4K cameras that my other 1080p camera takes better quality video. So don't go by always that. Go by the other features surrounding that. And it's important that you know that as well. And like I said, this is 1080p full HD, um, daytime video and motion activated spotlight color night vision. The camera has four pieces of LED lights and I'm going to go over them with you and this is what captures of course everything in the day and night and you can even see uh, through the dark up to 32 feet in very low light conditions. Now that is stupendous and I can't wait to test it out and show you some of the video. So like I said you can choose to either use your micro SD card which this holds up to 64 gigs, or you can use cloud storage. I think you get a free trial for one month, which is awesome, or you can do both like I do. I, I just, you know, prefer to use both storage um, methodologies. So it's also important to know that this 
S600 wireless camera doesn't support 5G Wi-Fi. So it's important for you to know that. All right, so what I want to do is just go over what you're looking at in the front here. Let me line that up so you can see it. Now, of course, these dots right here are the microphone. So that is where it picks up all of the sound. There's Ollie growling. Sorry about that. Now, we have on this side here at the top, this is our light sensors. And, of course, there are LED lights on both sides. Um, the white light here is, which is on the top and bottom, are the LED. The middle one here is the infrared night vision lights. Sorry about that. So the two dots here, the two little LEDs, are the night vision LED lights. So that is super cool. And then in the middle, of course, we have our camera lens. So on the back here, as you can see, this is the speaker. It's the two-way speaker. So you can actually, if you put this in the front of your house and someone's approaching, you can say, hey, you know, who is it? What do you want? And they can actually talk back and you can have a conversation with them. So I absolutely love, love that feature. Now in here, we're going to open this right now and I'll show you what's inside. So that's pretty nifty. I took the little screwdriver that they gave me and all I did was remove the screw. So be careful. You don't want to lose that when you do open it. And then all you're going to do is pop this open. You can just take your little screwdriver and pop this open. Now, again, remember, don't lose these pieces because I've done that before. I was just careless and dropped this on the floor and it took me forever to find it. So always be mindful when you take things apart like that. Now let me bring this up close so you can see. Now here we have what looks to be like our SD card and I ordered mine today because I just ran out of them and I'll be inserting that tomorrow when I install this camera. And then... Oh, this looks like the reset button. So if you need to reset the camera, you would do that there as well. So that was super easy. Again, just use the screwdriver they gave me. Um, and anything that I miss seeing right now or, or forget to mention, of course, I will have running across the screen. So again, I'm just unboxing this now with you and I'm only reiterating some of the things that I know about it beforehand, but I will go over all the specs and make sure that you have them. Plus, don't forget, we will feature this in an article on sassytownhouseliving.com. So I'll put the link in the description so you'll be able to head on over and see some close-up images as well as all of the specs that you need to know. Now, of course, this is the cable that you would attach here. And when we install this, I will show you how to do that as well. Um, the weather's been horrible, and I didn't really want to install a camera in the middle of snowy, rainy, and windy days. It's finally starting to get nice out there, and I know that tomorrow's going to be a perfect day to install my camera. So I'm definitely going to do that, and of course, I'll show it to you. Now, I just want to go over some of the features in here. It's important to note, you'll see this little rubber. You want to pull that out. And in here, there's an on, I hope it's focusing. There's an on and off switch. So before you install this, make sure that you have it turned on. And then of course, make sure that you put your little rubber tip back on because I'm sure this is what keeps it nice and waterproof. Okay, so I just put that rubber back in there. And to be honest, it's a little bit of a struggle because I guess they want to make sure that this is airtight. And as you can see, there's even a little piece that needs to get pushed in there a little bit more. So you can just take your screwdriver and there we go. Make sure that it's in there. And they do that because they want to make sure that no water enters in there. Now, on the other side... We have another plug, and this is really important as well, 
when you take that off, this is where you're going to charge the battery. So you want to make sure that it's nice and juiced up before you put it outside in the sun and install it. And you can just easily do that with this cable that they gave you. Just plug it into any USB device and give it a good charge. And I will do that later before I install it and make sure I show you what that looks like as well because I believe there's a little light that flashes to let you know that it's charging. So again, make sure you put this rubber tip back in nice and, and firm because you don't want any water getting in there. Okay, so I just put that little clip back in and again, you're going to have to take your little screwdriver or something and make sure that you push it, you know, not too hard. You don't want to damage it, but, or if you can use your fingers, just push it really good in there to make sure. So that's it for um, the actual solar power uh, panel. And of course, I'll have any important information running across the screen that I forgot to mention. I also wanted to mention as I was reading that um, aside from the 360 horizontal and 90 degree vertical pan and tilt, there's a clear two-way audio, which I did mention, and a 3x digital zoom. It does not have an optical zoom. It has a digital zoom, and that will provide you with a much broader and flexible view of the camera for home security. So they're saying that you actually get a broader and better view with a 90 degree um, vertical tilt and pan and the 3x digital zoom. So I wanted to also mention that. Now this is pretty lightweight. So when you attach it to your home, to the exterior of your home, you don't have to worry. It's not like a heavy bulky camera. It's pretty lightweight. And as you can see, it's made out of all like this nice plastic. And what I'm going to do is charge my panel and make sure that it's ready to go for tomorrow when we install it outside of our home. Okay, so I wanted to show you quickly how I am charging the solar panel. Now, I just plugged the USB into a port in my computer, and as you can see, the green light is flashing, which means that the base is charging. Now, you want to get this juiced up nice before you put it outside so you don't have to wait for the sun to do its work and charge it for you. And again, don't forget to take off the little plastic couplings and on both sides and make sure that you turn it on and then charge it. If you don't turn it on, I'm not so sure it's going to charge, so make sure that you turn it on and then plug the little USB right in, and as you can see, there's a green light there indicating that it's charging. When it's done charging, I'm sure it'll turn solid, and then it's ready to go. Okay, so I just wanted to show you close up. There's the micro SD card, and you can actually hear it click in, and that's how you know that you installed it correctly. So you can see I'm downloading the app right now. Just search in the Google Play Store for the words Solium and app, and you'll see it come up, and you can tell by their green logo that it's the correct software that you need. So once this gets installed, then I will run through the setup process, which I'm going to do right now, and we'll, we'll allow it while using the app for everything. Of course, click allow. And then first thing I'm going to do is register. So for now, I have the default set up and that's fine. What I'm going to do is pair the camera to the software and see where that takes me. Okay, so as you can see, I have the app open right now. And all you need to do is tap the window to activate the camera. And it'll take a few seconds to load and then that's my backyard so the really cool thing is with a tap you can navigate the camera up down left or right you can also pinch the screen to zoom in and when you zoom in it's you, you really get a clear view it's not as pixelated as you would think but as you can see the view is crystal clear 
Now I'm going to go back into the minimized mode because I want to show you all of the activity you can see is being stored on the cloud. Now I already signed up for the cloud so make sure that you do that as well in addition to or either um, with your SD card installed. And then when you want to play it'll tell you okay at 920 activity was detected you just click the video and it will play what that activity was and why it recorded it. Maybe it sensed some type of movement or motion and it will play each of the videos that you can see in here. Now when we go back you can see at the bottom you can click on um, the little icon below that says cloud video and that'll show you all. Now I don't have too many recorded in there because I just installed it last night or yesterday so all of your your videos are being recorded in there you also have an album you can um, well you can skip the tutorial but you can um, select you can create an album and store I guess some of the videos in there and then when you click on me it shows you all of your different settings and so on so it's pretty intuitive it's a very easy to use app Installing it was super easy. There's a wizard that walks you through it. You can literally click and next, next, next. You just sign into your router and boom, you're connected. Now, one quick note, when you're connecting the camera to your router, you want to have it within a foot or two to make sure that you get a good connection. And then you can just take, once it's connected, you can just take the camera outside and install it. And it's as easy as that. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is make sure you have your sticker up. I am connecting mine to a wooden fence that I have in the back because I want to make sure that my sliding doors have the coverage. So that's the first step that you want to do. Okay, so I got my Solium light installed on my fence. As you can see, it was really easy. It's just four screws and you put that little template on the uh, area that you want to mount it and then just drill your holes and screw it in it's that easy and then of course you want to make sure that you connect these two pieces together and again make sure your camera's turned on now what's really cool is the camera uh, on the app has a setting that you can actually rotate the camera to uh, a 360 degree angle it goes up and down left and right it's so cool and of course I'm going to show you video of what that looks like as well I'll show you on the app all in all this camera was super easy to install you can see the solar panel right there and in the morning when the Sun rises it'll charge the device perfectly and that's why I kind of tipped it that way because the Sun is strongest in that direction in the morning so I love the fact that there's no power plug involved I don't need an outlet it's brilliant and the clarity on the video is top quality and again I'm going to show you what that looks like so um, I love this camera it was super easy to install and what I'm gonna do next is show you some of the video So as you can see right now, I'm tapping on the little arrows and it changes the direction of the camera. You can go up or down, left or right. So that's a really awesome feature. I never had a camera with a feature quite like that. And that is really awesome in my book. So all in all, I love it. I think it's an awesome feature and I've never had a camera that did that before so you can actually expand the view of your front or backyard okay so I just wanted to show you some of the clips from the daytime as well as nighttime and 
I'm very impressed with the quality. Everything turned out great. Um, I recorded only 10 seconds of each clip to show you because I didn't want to drag this on forever. But I wanted to give you an idea of how great the quality is. And the audio quality is incredible too. And I'm going to let you hear a clip uh, very shortly of my neighbor conversing with us and he was at least eight to ten feet away from the camera and you were still able to pick up the audio so imagine when it's at your front door you'll you'll be able to have conversations with people and it'll be crystal clear so I'll be playing that audio for you in the next clip you'll see my neighbor in my backyard talking to me you know my little uh, Pepsi medallion this fake and everybody big but they like it I was going to get a real one, but so, oh, you know. Oh, you better roll yeah. with a fake one. No, you have an app on your phone. Okay. And then, and then this is, this is an app. Okay, so, so it's I will have two to accept. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll be sure to answer each and every one of them. And of course, I'll have a link uh, to the Amazon website where you can purchase one of these cameras for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me when you do. And if you can head on over to sassytownhouseliving.com and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that as well. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching and have yourself a great and safe day.